Well, hey, folks. Welcome to the More Summer 2020 Adventures Day 24. All right, it's July the 19th, 2020, and uh, today's been a good day. All right, I mean, every day's a good day, but some days just have better. Today's been a good day. Uh, got up uh, normal time today uh, uh, and traveled with my sister and brother-in-law over to their church. Uh, had a good service, a good, good message. Um, and I'll talk about a little bit of that later because uh, he good pastor and a good sermon. Um, but uh, then we were able to have uh, lunch uh, with my niece and her husband and family. It was, like I said, like I said the other day, you know, you, you got to take advantage uh, of, of being able to visit with family, when, especially when they're here in Arizona and we're 2,500 miles on the East Coast, okay? So, you know, it was, uh, it was good. It was, it was really good. And then uh, we did some shopping and get some, some things and uh, got uh, my mom her Pepsis and some, some chocolates, all right? Uh, we weren't able to see her, but we dropped them off at the home. She's still in quarantine. Uh, hopefully, uh, we have to go pick up some things from her old facility tomorrow uh, in that same town. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, make arrangements that we can see her through her, her room window. Uh, even though we'll be outside and won't be able to talk, everything you still gotta, you know. I mean, it's it's only only right. I mean, it's you know precautions. Uh, go through the uh, the office and administration and, and make sure that everything's okay, so they can uh, can arrange to have her by the window uh, to see us and, and maybe shout through the window. But uh, so we did that over there in in Sierra Vista, um, and uh, like I said, did some shopping for us also. Uh, but we'll be back over there tomorrow. And, uh, and we came home and, and took a little bit of a rest. Uh, aside from the video, I'm also doing my uh, uh, journal, a travel journal, something I had never done before. And uh, probably the reason I haven't done it before because I keep forgetting about it, all right? So I forced myself yesterday to start it, even though I was late, all right? So now I'm up to, I've caught up to seven days from now, all right? Backwards. Right, so I, I got from the 26th of June to the 10th of July. All right, <laughs> or maybe it was the 13th of July. I don't know. Anyway, I'm seven days behind now instead of 24. <laughs> you know, like today, you know, welcome to day 24. Yeah. All right, and that's probably why I hadn't done the journal. Um, and actually. Uh, it's probably been easier if I'd have started from day one because then I could remember things. Because after I wrote about a day and was writing on the next day or maybe a day later, I thought, oh, I should have mentioned that. All right. Um, so maybe when I get caught up, then I can keep it current and keep it uh, accurate. I mean, it's accurate, but it's not as in detailed as it would have been if I had just written it that day when all the thoughts and happenings were fresh in my mind. But that's all good. So that's uh, like I say. After church, we came home, and oh, after after dinner, and then shopping, and then you know, came home, and that's what I've been working on this afternoon. Uh, we're gonna have a little get together. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry, heat, no humidity, fifty three hundred feet, COPD. Okay, not COVID, COPD. Um, it's all good <laughs> it's all good <laughs> but uh, a hey, um, having said all that yeah so okay don't touch your nose don't touch your mouth you know don't do this don't do that and I just did that right all right <laughs> but uh, hey folks uh, I said today was a, a good day um, you know and, and like I said when we got back uh, from service and that's you know that's about 45 uh, minutes away you know um, or at least miles away, and uh, sometimes the way the road goes and the traffic and everything, it's uh, it's about 45 minutes as well, maybe even an hour. But uh, you know, uh, today's sermon, um, and I have you know today's scripture, and I don't share that with you, but uh, and then I'll kind of go into today's sermon, um, folks. Uh, I want to make this clear, okay. Um, some of you are encouraging me with my videos 
and talking about what we're doing and other things uh, some of you are encouraging me about the scripture and I appreciate both all right I, I really do um, I don't know you know um, I hadn't started this to be this way but it just kind of morphed its way into that and uh, the the input I'm getting from the audience from 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 you, from you viewers as well as my my own family um, keep it up you're enjoying it uh, thanks for sharing you know and and so I will and uh, trust me uh, heart flat uh, uh, felt uh, you know uh, I thanks thanks to you all um, but you know today's scripture is Romans 8 6 for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace and of course uh, you know I, I give you another version also you know the, the short version if our minds are ruled by the spirit we will have life and peace and and that's 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 pretty good you know um, because and and, and this is where I'm, I'm going to go a little bit more. Maybe it's because of Sunday. Maybe because uh, some of the things that the pastor said this morning in his sermon. I don't know. But, you know, uh, you know, Romans 6.23. You know, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. You know. So, you know, if the carnal way is death, right? But the spiritual mind is, is life and peace. If we're spiritually minded, you know, we're supposed to be trying to be... be to be, uh, you know, you know, listening to God, you know, and 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 listening to to what His Word says, and, and you think, well, you know, how do you do that? Well, and these, you know, this this was part of His Scripture this morning, His text, and it was First Kings nineteen twelve, and after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and then after the fire, a small still voice. You say, well, you know, how am I going to hear that small, still voice? You know, again, I take you back to Romans 10, 17. So the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You know, folks, if you, if you get into the word, you read the gospel, or not just the gospel, the Bible. All right. And he asked the Holy Spirit to, to open up what, I mean, I could read the verse and the Holy Spirit could tell me this about that verse. And someone else could read that same verse at the same time the Holy Spirit will tell them something different. Because it's a personal relationship, folks. Please, please understand that you know, salvation is a personal relationship with you and Christ. You know, your denomination and your religion, religious affiliation, which I have also, is not going to get you to heaven. That personal relationship with Christ is going to get you into heaven, you know, by faith, you know. So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, you know. And like like Elijah, you know, uh, it was the wind, and there was no voice. Then there was the earthquake, and there was no voice. Then there was the fire, and there was no voice. And then after the fire, there was a small, still voice. Elijah, what are you doing here? And, 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 you know, he was running for his life. You know, woe was me. You know, and we all get to that point that, you know, we, we may doubt our faith. We may doubt our walk. But Christ doesn't doubt. God doesn't doubt. He is true and every day, a living God. God is not dead. The God I serve is a living God. And he, and I, you know, I talk with him every day, you know, just as easily as I talk to my wife or to my cousin or, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be verbal. Many times it is. Sometimes it's just mental. Okay. You know, sometimes I could have been uh, at work on the, on the lawnmower, you know, cutting the soccer field or the football, baseball field, whatever it was, and just talking with God, you know, which is what prayer is. It's just a communication with you and God. Hey folks, that's... <laughs> that's my sermon for today you know but really uh, you know to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace and like I said Romans 6 23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord y'all be blessed we'll talk to you tomorrow I'm going to go visit my family and uh, we're going to grill some steaks God bless you see you tomorrow bye bye